Yo guys, Blues Not here and welcome back to another video. Today, I am back with another reaction video as the San Jose Earthquake have signed their second player in less than a week and this time we have signed a new goalkeeper. His name is JT Marksinkowski. Now, if you guys don't know exactly who this player is, he basically is kind of the same, he pretty much come from the Quakes, pretty much the same way that Nick Nima come from the Quakes. He is a homegrown player, he's from L. Alamo, California, which is not very far from Walnut Creek, and he also is formerly a player from the Quakes Academy before heading into college to Georgetown, and actually he left Georgetown about a semester early to join the San Jose Earthquakes, and, but you probably can tell by my voice, I am actually really, really excited about this player, because, you know, one of the things that I mentioned doing my season review about how this offseason and what we really need in this offseason is that we need at least a goalkeeper because we know for a fact that David Bingham is probably going to be uh, be leaving our club by the end of this winter transfer window and I just felt like we just don't have an actual kind of backup kind of goalkeeper. I mean, I think Tarbell will continue to be our starting goalkeeper heading into next season. I mean, I know... In last season, he didn't really look that consistent. I mean, there was some game where he made a couple of howlers and stuff like that. But there are some game that he was actually very good. But now the, the question with David Bingham leaving and the fact that, you know, with his leaving, we really don't have kind of like a backup kind of goalkeeper, a reliable backup goalkeeper that we can go. Well, now we do. And as I said before, his name is JT Martzniewski. And some of the things that he has done, he's he actually is a U.S. Um, under-20 international player. I think he made about four caps with the under-20 team. He also have made like about 20 or 30 caps with with the under 18 team so he has definitely got some international level he has definitely been on the big stage now like I said before he's probably potentially gonna be a backup goalkeeper for the Quakes he's not really gonna be like a starter he's not gonna just pretty much be our starting goalkeeper he's not gonna go um, in front of Andrew Tarbell I think Tarbell is still gonna be our goalkeeper heading this year but at least we have kind of an insurance coming in to this and I'm very excited to see how he play in the preseason and also maybe in some of the US Open Cup because I want to see that you know he's very young okay by the way he's only 20 years old but he has a lot of potential to be one of the best goalkeeper in the MLS so you know if if that kind of potential will be shown in the next couple of months, I mean, I'll probably give him about maybe two or three years to kind of like develop. Like I said, he is very young. I don't expect him to just jump straight into the starting lineup. But if he shows potential and if he's shown that he can be a top quality goalkeeper, then this is an absolute steal from us. The fact that we we got ourselves a goalkeeper without even have to do some trading. I mean, all we had to do is sign a homegrown goalkeeper. And yeah, I'm really excited about this. You know, I'm also a guy that really likes my homegrown player. I like Tommy Thompson and Nick Lima. Both of those, of course, are homegrown player. And having now our third grown homegrown player, um, that is JT Marcinkowski. I'm really excited to see what exactly he's got to bring on the table. A lot of people are very excited about this new signing too. I mean, I know it is just a backup goalkeeper, but this could potentially be the future for us. And the fact that in the next couple of years when we do finish this kind of rebuilding process that we are going in right now. Hopefully, he'll be there to potentially be be maybe in the next couple of years when the Quakes does do good. He'll be also one of the reasons why we were we are being so good in the MLS. Okay, maybe that's a little bit kind of a delusional statement since, you know, we don't know what's going to happen in these next couple of years with the Quakes since, you know, we're still kind of like in a rebuilding period. We do not know if this rebuilding period will be successful and will be going back to the to the top of the MLS like we did in the mid 2000 and in the early 2000 but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video also let me know in the comments what do you think about this signing are you very stoked the fact that we s signed this player do you think he could potentially be the future for us and that he could be a breakout player for us let me know in the comments below and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time